Hi guys, this is a Simon Expert. Today, imagine that you have an electron microscope with the energy of the electron beam 1 kilo electron volt. Can we use such microscope to obtain an image of individual atom with size 10 raised to negative 10 meters? Well, first of all, to obtain such an image, the wavelength of the beam should be smaller than the size of the object. As Louis de Brawl showed, every particle or matter propagates as a wave, with wavelength lambda equal to the Planck's constant divided by the momentum. And since momentum is the product of mass and velocity, this gives us h over md. Now, the energy of the beam is related with the velocity of the electron in the following way. e equals one half times mv squared. From here we can derive velocity. Velocity equals the square root of 2e over m. Now let's take this expression and put it into our formula for the wavelength. Lambda equals h over the square root of 2me. So here we have the formula for the wavelength. And we know all the values to find it. So let's calculate the wavelength. In the numerator, we have 6.626 times 10 raised to the negative 33rd uh, joules times seconds. And in the denominator, we have the square root of 2 times 9.1 times 10 raised to the negative 31st uh, kilos. Then we have 1 kilo electron volt, which is 10 raised to the third power electron volts. And now over here we need to have our energy in joules. Therefore we need to also multiply this by 1.6 times 10 raised to the negative 19th joules over electron volts. And all this gives us approximately 3.9 times 10 raised to the negative 11th meters. So here's our wavelength. Now, if we compare it to the size of the atom, we will see that the size of the atom is larger than the wavelength. Therefore, indeed, we can use this microscope to obtain an image of individual atom. Thanks for watching.